Yo, it's that Brunez. Drop another review on y'all. And this time, what we're going to be reviewing is the BAM, the two stage snow thrower cover. Now, this is just a little simple review. It's pretty much an unboxing, and, and then we're going to take it out and cover up my snow th my uh, snow blower and, uh, and uh, call it a day. Something simple. Figured I'd throw this up there just in case anybody else is looking to purchase this. They can get an idea of what it looks like. So, that being said, let's get by into it. Let's let's get into it, I should say. It's uh as you can see here, it's by uh Classic Accessories. Alright. Two stage snow thrower cover, all weather protection. Fits most two stage snow throwers. And I guess that's the model number of it right there. We turn the box to the side. You got some more artwork and a little bit more inf information there. You can see. Bam. Okay, other side, same thing, more artwork and more info, couple, you know, another language, other languages here too, and also you got your address there if you need to contact them, and uh, in another language, it basically it says made in China, like everything else, made in China. Oh, as a matter of fact, this whole thing is in uh, another another language, now that I'm really looking at it, so there you, there you have it. Then you go take it to the back of the box, which is another language from the front of the box is the same thing as the front except it's in it looks like Spanish so that's what we're working with there on top of the box you got the classic accessories logo there you can get a good look at it BAM and then on the bottom of the box you have your barcode made in China uh, a little bit of warranty stuff right there, basically telling you fabric contact 100% woven polyester, your one year limited warranty. You can, if you can read that, you got your little warning, warnings there, and some more uh, information. And classic accessories logo. And uh, what I'm not finding on here is any kind of. Normally on the boxes they usually have some way to contact them. I'm not seeing that anywhere. Up oh, right here. Nope, this it. Yeah, this is the address. If you need to contact them, you mail it to them. Or you just do it like everybody else and Google it online and get a phone number. So, with that being said, let's get into the box. Okay, open the box. We cover your gear. Bam. I sure hope so. Okay, inside the box, you got a little drawstring bag with the cover in it. Okay, got some paperwork in here. Class accessories stuff right there. You can, bam, all kinds of stuff they deal with. So, other side, join your lo our loyalty program, hundred dollars. You can win a hundred dollar American Express card. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe not. Who knows? Um, got some information on your warranty and stuff here. Guess you would uh, fill this out. Of course, I'm doing a review and now people want to call me. Oh, looks like I'm getting the facts, but oh, it doesn't matter. That's your warranty. So, if you want to do that, that's there. Here's some literature about it. I don't know what kind of instructions you would need to know about it. It's a cover. You throw it over your snowblower. Boom. You know how I feel about it. I ain't reading it. So, toss that to the side. And then, now let's get into this bag. See what we're working with. Okay. All right. Oh, all right. I'm liking the material of it. Oh, the bag con is connected. Oh, look, that was a pretty smart idea. Connect the bag to it so you'll always have the bag. And then when you take it off, right back in the bag. That's smart. That's smart. Okay, now it's like a vinyl type material here. It's kind of, as you can see, it's got the stretchy string at the bottom. So that way it has grip underneath it and kind of like keep it snugged in. Whatever this is right here. Front. So I guess this is letting you know that this is the front of it. It's a pretty big bag here. Alright, so now that you see it's your average bag. Uh, we'll cover, I should say. I'm trying to see if there's any kind of drawstring clamp or anything like that 
I don't see anything like that. So it's one long elastic string there, and it's, it's around the you know the bottom of the bag. So that way, when you put it around, I guess it'll close in on it. So um, well, I guess the only thing we can do here is take it to the take it outside and uh, put it on my snowblower and uh, see, if it, see what we work with. So see you on the flip. Okay, we back in. As you see right now, this is my current snowblower situation. I got a tarp over it, a heavy duty tarp, and I got a bungee cord holding it on there so that way it kind of stays on there. So that's why I bought this because uh, it's supposed to make it look better and be more secure. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this off. I can save this stuff for I could always use a tarp, tarp for many different things instead of wasting it on a snowblower, but serve this purpose. Take this off. Okay, get this out of the way. Here. This is my snowblower. Bam! I still didn't even take the plastic off of it, but I used this bad boy already multiple times. So let's get this cover on. Let me uh, pause this for a second. And uh, put it on, and then I'll uh, get right back with you. Now, I have to say, this looks so much better. So much better. Covered up like this. There goes a little front tag right there, letting you know the front of the snowblower. Covered up the tires and everything. So I know this bad boy is protected. Yeah. I like this so much better. And this looks like it's going to keep my snowblower looking good and working good for years to come. This is exactly what I've been looking for. I'm glad I stumbled upon this. And I hope this video is going to help plenty of people decide to get this. Like I said, it's a, it's a very durable material, like a vinyl, like a thick vinyl, kind of like the tarp that I had on it. Got the elastic at the bottom to keep it kind of sealed in. Yo, this is... This is worth the money. Uh, only 25 bucks on Amazon. Boom. Worth it. You know, you can even find it less. I'm pretty sure a used one. You can get a used one for like 20 bucks. And I'm sure to use one, you know, as long as they say, you check the description, make sure there's no holes or anything. I would say get the used one, you know. So even still, 20, 25 bucks. You can't go wrong with this. Especially if you're spending like eight, nine hundred dollars on a snowblower. You want to you want to protect that as long as you can. Keep it. And tip top shape so you know i say definitely get that cop that so with that being said i'm dat bro nez and this has been the review of the classic accessories two stage snow thrower cover and i'm out this piece